house is a woman that loves to eat. She eats in the morning, she eats in the afternoon. I am a woman without makeup on, she, and that's just me. She eats in the evening. Is there, has there ever been a video we've done where you're not eating? I don't know. Is there a video that's ever been that I have gone to Michael? You know what they say, behind every great man is a woman rolling her eyes. Well, I am stuffed. But that was the absolute business. And we will be back again. So if you're around Tenerife, and you're looking at some good food and a warm welcome, then come, come and see them in the... Uh, Ah, uh, uh, keep watching to find out about Tenerife's new hottest spot. Everybody, it's me, Michael Levy Jr. and me and the family are back again for another vlog. Today, we have decided to come down and have a little look at new bar restaurant, the beautiful Ginger Pig. So if you've been lucky enough to come to Tenerife and you've been lucky enough to eat in their sister restaurant, the Thirsty Turtle, which is just down there, this is Alex and the team's new restaurant you're uh, guaranteed the same warm welcome, but a slightly different menu here in the Ginger Pig. So we're gonna review it today, have a little bit of dinner. We've picked the kids up, I've just done a show, met some, whoop, excuse me, met some friends. And we're, uh, we're gonna let you know what we think of the food here in the, in the Ginger Pig. If you an idea if it's in Costa Radecki, this is the famous St Eugene's bar and it's just next door to St Eugene's. It used to be B&Q or you can eat Chinese. And now finally, I've got Lily with me today. Lily, Lily's nickname, you might know she's Piggy. Yeah! How do you feel about them naming a restaurant after you? I feel famous. <laughs> so let's go inside and I'll let you know what the food's like. Yeah. Alex and the team very kindly named their little pig statue, Lily. It's a beautiful bar with what I would probably call a modern, contemporary sort of style. Very classy looking, very open, airy, luxury, and very, very uh, inviting. Just look at that bar. Very well lit and beautiful. After a really tricky decision what to choose to eat on a beautiful comprehensive menu, our food arrived and we are very happy with everything. There were plenty of options for younger diners on the Little Piggies menu. Steph and I decided on this gorgeous meat platter. It's for two people. It includes chicken wings, sirloin steak, ribs, curried beans, uh, a ranchy, homemade coleslaw, side salad. Uh, I'm probably forgetting some, but it was all really, really yummy and well worth it. Well, Ronnie seems to like it at least. Lily decided to try the hot and spicy sauce. Big mistake. <laughs> For me, the absolute star of the show was the handmade sausage. They take pork shoulder and pork cheek, along with a little bit of thyme and secret seasoning and spices. Absolutely stunning sausage. Available both on the meat platter and with the Irish breakfast. Oh, oh now. What did you think of that? So we had, what did we go for? We went for the meat platter for two. What did that include? We had... Uh, I don't remember. I think I just in uh, indulged it. We had ribs, chicken wings, ham hock, and a ranchy, which is like a deep fried Italian rice ball, pork inside. A bit of pulled pork on brioche. Uh, red coleslaw with it, side salad. And we had steak. Oh, steak. and sirloin steak, yeah, wasn't it? That. Sirloin steak, nicely really steak. steak no, no, but you enjoyed that. That was lovely. You enjoyed that the most. Uh, and we had a side of sweet potato fries, little sweet potato chips. But all in all, really nice, yeah. And then Lily finished any food we didn't have. Do you know why? She's the pig. 
So Big Girl had what did you have? Double, had a double smash burger. Double smash burger. How was that? Oh, how good is that? Yeah, yeah, and you had chips as well. Yeah. Did you eat it all? No, not all of it. No, it's too much, wasn't it? But oh, I know. I had your ribs, that's why I saw your ribs. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kimberly finished off our ribs. Yeah. I do know somebody that does help finish all the food. What did you have, Ab? Uh, double zipper chicken chops. Nice. And Lily Pig? I had a cold pork burger. Nice. So, all around, how many? What do you reckon? 10 out of 10? 15. Wow. The people should come to uh, the Ginger Pig, shouldn't they? Yeah. Come to my restaurant. Come to my restaurant. <laughs> Baby boy, what did you have for dinner? We had a burger with some chips and... I don't know. Burger mash. with chips? Mash. Oh, you had mash. Really weirdly, you didn't have chips, you had mash. Yeah, burger but... and mash. Ethan? But what do we think? Right, all around, yummy? Yeah. I can tell, look at his face, it's got food all over it. See? <laughs> it's still... I'm done. So this is our friend Grant, we brought him down to the Ginger Pig today. So what do you think of it? Yep, really lovely food. Did you like had, it? Yeah, we had fish and chips, really nice. And it was proper English fish and chips, really good. Uh, mushy peas. Would you come here again? We would come here again, yep. So another stunning meal, absolutely beautiful. We were used to a certain amount of not only food but great service at the Thirsty Turtle. And Alex and the guys have just upped their, upped their game again. You get such a warm welcome. All the staff are so, so well drilled. Everybody looks after you. Food's exquisite. Very reasonable prices. Um, the food will get you here. And you'll keep coming back for the warm welcome you receive. Everybody's so bubbly, happy, only too happy to help. Nothing's too much trouble. Uh, really, really enjoyed the experience. Uh, let's have a quick word if we can get in with the boss, the main man. We'll have a quick word with Alex. And he can sort of tell us a little bit about the place. So you must come and try it. The jefe, the main man. So you saying it, jefe? The jefe. The jefe, the boss in Spanish, sat with the main man, Alex. You might recognise him from the sister bar restaurant, the Thirsty Turtle, which is absolutely lovely. I was just saying, Alex and the guys, they've, they've upped their game again. So what, 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 was the, what was the vision here? What was you going for? You've kept within the same thing. Uh, we, uh, we opened up. Uh, why? Because uh, we, we started something down there. Um, it got life. Um, it worked. Uh, and, and to be honest with you, like, it was just because of the uh, COVID at the moment, this spot came up right next door. Uh, and we only do chicken and burgers down there and there's a lot more food to get to people. Well, it's, you've expanded the menu, it's beautiful. And you've only been over since Tuesday, no? Tuesday, born at 10 o'clock Tuesday morning. Well, I'll tell you, it's all it's already packed. So words getting around, uh, and words getting around here, like I told you, you'll get great food, a warm welcome. Everybody's so helpful. The staff are really well drilled and that's down to Alex. So, so I've told you where we are. We're sort of on the St Eugene's corner, obviously at Temple Bar and the Irish Fiddler. This is the man you need to come and see. Tell him we sent you and he'll look after you. We'll make sure you get lovely food. Let us know in the comments below what you're looking forward to. Well, I am stuffed, but that was the absolute business, and we will be back again. So, if you're around Tenerife and you're looking for some good food and a warm welcome, then come and see them in the uh, in the Ginger Pig. I hope you've enjoyed watching. As always, thank you. Please like, subscribe, ring the notifications bell, and let us know in the comments below if it looks like somewhere you'd like to go. Fancy that?